Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a report with Adobe Analytics. So if you didn't know already, Adobe Analytics is a web analyst platform that helps businesses understand their website traffic and customer behaviour. It collects data from websites, mobile apps and other digital properties and then uses that data to generate reports and insights. So Adobe Analytics can be used to track a variety of metrics including page views, unique visitors, bounce rate, conversion rate, traffic sources, device usage, and customer demographics. Adobe Analytics also offers a variety of features that can help businesses make better decisions about their website and marketing campaigns. So how do we actually go about creating a report inside of Adobe Analytics? In order to create a report with Adobe Analytics, you first need to log into your account. So go ahead and do that first, or if you don't have an account yet, click this request a demo button here, and simply fill out this form then hopefully after that you'll be accepted and you'll be able to use Adobe Analytics. Now once you are logged in you'll see a list of reports that you can choose from. You can also create your own custom reports by clicking on the create report button. To create a custom report you'll need to choose a report type. There are many different report types to choose from such as page views, unique visitors and conversion rate. But once you've chosen a report type you'll need to select the dimensions and metrics that you'll want to see in your report. Dimensions are the different ways that you can group your data, such as by page, by country, or by date. Metrics are the numbers that you want to see, such as the number of page views, the number of unique visitors, or the conversion rate. After you've selected the dimensions and metrics that you want to see, you can start to customise your report. You can change the date range, the sort order, and the filters. You can also add visualisations to your report, such as charts and graphs. Once you're happy with your report, you can save it, share it with others, and you can also export your report to a file so that you can open it in another program. So in conclusion, I'm just going to run through all the steps that you have to do again. So number one, log in or create an account for Adobe Analytics. Number two, you want to choose a report type. Number three, you want to select the dimensions and metrics. Number four, you want to customise a report. And finally, you want to save and share the report. So I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you successfully managed to create a report inside of Adobe Analytics. If you did, please comment down below to say that this video helped you out and like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching.